It's very cool today, so this is the time to speak about the hot countries. And today we will speak about Thailand. So welcome to Travel IQ channel. And today we speak about how to spend the money in uh, Thailand. So if you are rich people, so you just buy a tour and go to Thailand. But if you want to make your trip much more interesting, so you better go as a solo traveler, so alone. Okay, so I came to Bangkok. This is my first uh, point. It was Bangkok. So it's a very, very big city and a little bit dangerous. I, I stayed there too nice. I stayed there in some uh, small hotel. It's very easy to find the small hotels and it's not very expensive. And you know the city is not uh, almost not very expensive so you can find many cheap places uh, that you can uh, eat just for two dollars big big food but much more interesting is the islands so from Bangkok I came to Phuket Island this is a, a big big island because in Thailand many many islands so it, it's very famous and there I came with uh, Air Asia company airplane it's very cheap if you buy if you book the tickets around three weeks before the price for the tickets is very 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 cheap so, but I didn't book uh, the hotel in a Phuket island, so I just, uh, from a airport, I took the bus, the first bu one bus that goes to city center. Uh, and after I went out with my backpack and just looked for many hotels. So. I came to one hotel, checked the price, uh, took the name card and write there the price. After I went to second and many, after I found the best price. So I paid around uh, 10 uh, euro for one, uh, one, uh, not apartment, no, okay, for one, one room, very, very good. With, uh, outside was a swimming pool and it was around ten, 10 minutes to go to the seaside yeah, but um, you no need to go uh, you can take a taxi but it's not a taxi it's uh, like a scooter it's a uh, tuk-tuk the name is a tuk-tuk and you can speak about the price you can get uh, every time the cheaper price so uh, what uh, about um, going around this island the best way you can take uh, the motorbike you can rent it not not very expensive but you must to be careful about uh, the traffic because there are many, many cars and not rules like most countries of Asia. So you must be careful. And um, interesting things that you can uh, uh, fool. Uh, so I mean, uh, guess to put gas to your motorbike so you can everywhere in small, smart, even in small shops on the street you can ask I want to buy some gas so you can buy it not not very expensive so actually it's a cheap and very very beautiful country many many uh, uh, people are smiling for you and uh, you see the smile it's really really smile not uh, some synthetic smile uh, so i spent around one week in this beautiful island but uh, i want to 
uh, much more adventurous. So, you know, before it, I saw uh, the film with Leonardo DiCaprio, the name of its uh, beach it's talking about in this film, about some people who came to the beach and spent the time. So, so uh, I think uh, it's a fi this film is very famous and you know it. So, I saw the trip uh, to this island, but it was a little bit expensive. So, but I saw the name, the nearest one island to to this place, because you cannot rent the uh, the room in the island where, where filmed the film, and I came to this island, and you know I want to take a, a taxi, but <laughs> there is no there was no streets no street in this island, so I just I just went and the same the same when I look in the uh, cheapest one hotel and from there I took a trip it was really cheap and I, I just want to tell you uh, give you some tips that no need to buy the first one trip yes it's very no problem but it's not so interesting just look at the trip uh, just take a map and look in the nearest one place and maybe it will be much more interesting uh, to go from from island from this place to other place so it's like a big adventure and um, but um, this trip was very short but very very uh, nice very very beautiful sunset and uh, um, <clears throat> after my staying in this island i am back to bangkok i spent there again two or three nights and uh, i would like to tell you about the taxi um, you must be very careful in a taxi because maybe it's not dangerous but uh, you can uh, lose your money it was one time uh, I was in the airport in Bangkok and I skied about uh, another gate. I went in this, uh, I cannot find this gate in the airport and uh, asked many people but nobody knows and to me came a taxi driver and so and told me, oh, I know, I know, okay, no problem, okay, let's go to my taxi. And uh, we, you know, around 30 minutes, we uh, walking around with the taxi, and after he, he uh, told with somebody on the phone, uh, and told me, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. So the English, uh, his English was poor. And we came back to the same airport. <laughs> you know, 30 meters, I, I paid around $20, $20 just for nothing. So you must be sure. And you know, uh, the, uh, there is a number in the taxi. Uh, if, you, if you see that something's wrong, uh, you can just take a picture of this number or maybe just make some trick just call for somebody and tell to him in your native language about about the taxi driver about the police police okay and tell this the number one two three four five okay okay so it's a, a trick after this I, we came back to the, to the airport uh, yeah, it was the same airport, just another gate, another terminal. So, it's very very funny, you know, Asia is very funny, very cheap, and it's a really time to go now, when the winter in Europe comes, to go to, to seaside and swimming. So, okay, thank you for watching. Um, if you have some to, to say something to the people, just tell it. Just leave the comments. Just give me likes if you if you like it and su subscribe. Okay, see you. Thank you for your attention and bye bye.